Hello Scorpio, welcome to your today's love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. Hope all is well with everyone. And Scorpio, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Alright, uh, Scorpio, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Scorpio. Show me more. Scorpio, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be you or the other person you are thinking about or dealing with. Interesting. Okay, so it does look like uh, you could have been put in a third party situation or that you could have put somebody in a third party situation. Okay, third party may not always mean another lover. It could also mean external, internal factors, friends or family who could have interfered in this connection. Ten of Swords is in reverse, so it does look like somebody is recovering or trying to get over the past hurt. Okay. Um, it definitely was a very painful ending between the two of you and I feel like there is an effort here that someone is trying to close out this chapter and starting a new chapter. Four Pentacles in reverse, um, an energy of I'm sensing someone just basically letting go of this connection with a magician in, magician in reverse has something to do also with. I feel like someone here has already seen somebody's true colors and they no longer can hold on to this connection, okay? So Five Pentacles is right here, so it does look like someone definitely was being left out in the cold. I see, Scorpio, a lot of you because of this, okay? Because of this connection, you have lost a lot of money, okay? Um, I can't help, I know this is a uh, love reading, but all the Pentacles in reverse, except for the Five Pentacles, in an upright position, which is not actually a good sign, um, to me, that's a bankruptcy card with the Five Pentacles right here. So, um, Scorpio, it does look like this uh, connection, okay, this relationship, your past relationship has made you lose money or lose stability, okay? Could, if it's not money, then it's stability, some sort of, or something of value here. And with Ace of Pentacles, it does look like this could be you or your person wanting to come in and uh, to offer a new beginning here and perhaps to fix things with the Three of Pentacles. Queen of Wands is in reverse, so it does look like someone may not want to, um, I feel like you definitely are dealing with somebody, um, I don't know why, the Queen of Wands, yeah, I feel like uh, in reverse especially, I feel like this person could be very selfish, very, very self-serving, yeah, whatever that, it's almost like, they can be passionate, but they can also be not passionate, um, just like that, right? It's almost like somebody whom is quite heartless, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you could possibly feel your person is heartless. This is your past person here, okay? This could be you or them, but somebody here definitely wants to a, a new beginning, okay? In the hopes that they could fix this in hopes that both of you could reveal this, but it's you or them. Sun is in reverse. It does look like your past person, or it could be you. Somebody here is not happy, okay? And with the three of swords, yep, heartbroken, or it could be a third party, because there's three of pentacles here as well. So again, third party may not always mean another lover, okay? It could mean, it could mean um, other factors, external, internal factors. Queen of Wands in reverse. Also, I don't know why I keep looking at the Queen of Wands here. So it's for me, uh, Scorpio, this has something to do with somebody again. Uh, you know, this could be a liar, a cheater as well. That's what I'm sensing, yeah? And we've got the Nine of Wands in reverse. Again, this energy, Scorpio could be dealing with a, an Aries Sagittarius Leo. Uh, with the Cubs here, it could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Could be a Virgo, all the fixed signs are here. Virgo Capricorn Taurus, okay, doesn't have to be, doesn't, don't take any other signs too literally. Um, it could be, anybody could embody any of these energies, okay. So the Eight of 
Pentacles is in reverse. So it does say someone here may not want to work on this connection or not wanting to focus on this connection. Eight of Wands in reverse. Somebody may not want to speak. So it's for you, I feel like, Scorpio, this person is bad news, okay? Eight of Wands in reverse. I do read it as bad news. King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, all of these, okay, all of this fire energy could actually belong to one person only, okay? I feel like one person will... Um, I don't know. I'm just sensing Scorpio. Your person could have lied, could have cheated, or just bad news all around, okay? They are very self-serving. That's another thing. Um, can be very heartless. That's what I'm getting. Very, very heartless with it being reversed. I rarely read it like that, but this time around I do. Three of Cups in reverse. Someone may not want to reconcile here, okay? Someone may not want to reconcile here and they don't want to work on this connection or fix this connection. But on the other hand, another person wants to. It could be you or them again. Rose can be switched here. King of Cups is in reverse. I feel like a lot of you have already, you know, have already expressed everything, uh, said, could have said everything or expressed everything that you wanted to say. Or it could be them, um, but, but still somebody here is not not giving this person a time of the day it could be you or them yeah same person here as well so a lot of stress a lot of um crying at night sleepless night insomnia i guess it's the same thing with the temperance here i'm sensing a lot of you are trying to actually scorpio as 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 hard as it is yeah as hard as it is i feel like a lot of you are trying to maintain balance here with the temperance and trying your best to also um, take care of yourself, self-love, self-care. This could also be an indication from uh, somebody from the past wanting to come in to reconcile and make peace with you. But we're going to dive deeper into this reading, okay, Scorpio? We're going to find out first how does your person currently feel about you, your person in separation right now. What are their true intentions towards you as well as what's the most likely outcome between the two of you? And we're going to find out, for some of you, I do see this could be somebody new as well with Ace of Pentacles. If you're interested to find out as well, uh, potential in love for you, uh, we're going to dive deeper as well, okay? And we're going to get you some, some romance angels here with the Oracle. All right, Scorpio, if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. Just click on it and it will bring you to my Patreon page for the extended reading. If you're part ways here, thank you so much for watching. And if you resonated, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you prefer a personal reading, my information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. And I guess I hope to see you back here, if not at the extended by Scorpio.